everyone, my name is Magan and welcome back to episode 10 of Hybrid Era. Uh, so we're going to carry on with Beat Cop. Um, if you're new here, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, I hope you like what I'm doing here today. Uh, if you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. Um, if you saw what happened last time, you know that we're going to rewind some time today. Um, I got killed by the Mafia. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to rewind the time. I don't know how far I can go back. Oh, I can go back. I can go back quite far, actually. This is a nice little system. I, I haven't tried to do this before. So, yeah, this is cool. I'm going to go back to day 13, or should I just start from here? Uh, Ministry of Geriatrics. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to try day 14 and do everything for the Mafia properly. Sure, once you go back to a specific day, all the days after that won't be available. That's fine. We're going to try again. <laughs> and I'm going to do everything for the Mafia. Because I got to minus... 100% like loyalty towards them and they did not like that so I need to up it so I'm going to skip all this stuff because it's going to be exactly the same as the previous episode if you really want to know then you can go back and watch that <laughs> got to do tire tickets I'm not even bother talking so we're just going to go straight into things and the mafia are going to be my best friends forever from now on you left a ticket book here Thought you'd skip writing tickets today. Five for tyres. Smart ass. I'm sure, coffee and donuts are waiting. All right, so. Of course, we want on duty. Okay, perfect. Right. Uh, find Angie. Uh, she was in the pawn shop, I think. Meet Angie tomorrow. Okay, they put her me, the mob blight. Okay, so. Uh, five tickets for tyres. I'm going to check the tyres for everything that I can. I'm going to write a ticket for this one anyway, because it's in a no parking zone. And I am, I am not happy about that. <laughs> so, right ticket for parking violation. I know this is kind of wasting my time, but I'm not that fast. Check tyres. Come on, give me some bad tyres. That's fine. That's fine. Last one. No, that's not what I want. Check tyres. That's fine. That's fine. Come on, give me some bad tyres. That's okay. That's okay. Oh. It's going to be really horrible, this game, to me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we got a bad tyre. I can write a ticket for bad tyres. Is this central? You got caught at the pawn store. Oh, that's right there. An offence? Violation? No idea, but he sounded urgent. Fuck. What if it's to do with Igor? 10-4, I'm on my way. Ooh, that's interesting, because I don't remember... <laughs> I don't think I got a call last time about that kind of thing. Or did I? I mean, it's not been a super long time since I played this. Froggy, what happened? Good morning, officer. I've been expecting you. What's this about? Our little Russian secret? Fuck, I knew it. I promised to help, so I will. This time around, I'm the one under the gun. What's this about? I won't beat about the bush. I'm up to my ears in debt. That bad? Yeah. I had to hock the whole store. We have done this before. Oh, fuck. What now? I really need your help. But you gotta know, I ain't wiping my ass with money. There's nothing to worry about. It's almost good to go. Why would I be worried? What's well, almost good to go? Easy now, Kelly. Froggy, I don't know what you're up to. You're going to help me shoot an adult movie. We have done this. <laughs> you fucking kidding me. Actually, I've been setting it up for years now. Look, I'm going to pretend that this conversation never happened. And then our secret's no longer a secret. Catch my drift? Alright. Since you put it that way, it's out of my hands. It's already been paid for. This is a life or death situation for me. Alright. Just tell me what to do. Hock in the store got me the money for the actress and the gear, but I still got no male lead. You can't possibly be thinking that. <laughs> Not you for sure, too small a calibre, but damn effective. See that actor in the poster? Yeah, that been manipulated? Did it? No, that's the real deal. No way, for real. He's from around here too. That guy's still breathing, that poster must be like 20 years old. I know, but you should see our actresses. You'd have to be a fag not to get sprung. Ugh. 
Got his whereabouts? His ex lives at 605, Mrs. Wad. Alright, I'll try to find him. Okay, so yes, we have done some of this before. So I've got to go to 605, which is down to the left here. Uh, not that one. Oh, don't forget. Don't forget tyres. Checking tyres on the way. Probably not going to get anything. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's shitty enough. So we're going to get a right ticket for tyres. Got three more left to do on that. And we're going to call that tow truck in. Brilliant. And let's go talk to Mrs. Watt. Who's there? I just want some goddamn sleep. Mrs. Watt? This is Officer Kelly. Don't you scum. Quit fucking around. Don't you dare come back without booze. Fuck, she's plastered. And how would you know I ain't got a bottle here, sugar? I think I lied last time. Hmm, got a bottle? For your baby girl? Sure I do, Jill. Let me in. Alright, but if it turns out you lied to me, arsehole. Fucking drunks. Who the fuck are you? I'm calling the cops. Miss what? I am the cops. Is this about Dirk? Where is he? That's what I wanted to ask you. How would I know? Maybe he's bum bumming around the donut. You go to get donuts? My ass hooked up a job there. That's what I wanted to know. What about the booze? Get some rest, Jewel. I can see your liver through your shirt. You fuck. I'll make a complaint. Okay, yeah. So this is cool. We've done all this before. I'm sure the Mafia asked me to do something. But we'll focus on that in a bit. Right now. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's not forget tyres. For right now, I'm just going to try and get through the day. And if the Mafia asks me to do something, that is going to be my main priority. Because if I don't, they're going to kill me. And I'd rather not that, let that happen again. <laughs> Kelly, come in. Come in. The boss wanted to remind you that you've got another payment in three days. Alimony or something. All right, copy that. I said $600 in three days. I know, I know. 10-4. Uh, we're getting reports that the Mafia's extorting protection money. Where? It's an anonymous tip. You need to find out yourself. I'll take care of it. So, I'll go to see them, but I'm going to let it slide. Hopefully, that will put me in good favour with them at least. So, any... That's looking good. Uh, so any shop where there is Mafia outside, I'm going to go in, talk to them and be like, nah, you do your thing. That's a crap tyre. You're getting towed, sir. Right, ticket, full tyres. And let's call in the tow truck while I'm here. Perfect. And let's go talk to... Uh, I'm going to ignore the crew for now. Box of donuts, as usual. A good donut can work miracles. I need a miracle. I'll pass today. Do you employ Dirk Wad? Yeah. He's been working for me for two months now. A real record breaker around here. Where can I find him? No need to look far. He's over there behind that glass. The bald dude with the stick? No, no. The one next to that busty blonde. The big donut. The one and only. But don't call him that. The job's demanding. You don't plan on locking him up, do you? He ain't a punk, but there ain't no line for that job. He's a punk, but there ain't no line for that job. No worries, I'm an old acquaintance. I see. I could tell just by looking. So, now we go talk to Dirk, get him to star in the the film. I think you got me confused with someone else, officer. Dirk what? I, I can tell. Fuck off, man. That was another life. But I'm a big fan of yours. For real? You remember me? Yeah, and I got an offer you might find interesting. All right, let's hear it. Would you like to? Would you like to get back into performing? That's kind of you, but you're a few years late. Come on, quit whining like a little girl. You in or out? I got to think about it. Take it off, and we'll talk in the alley next to the church. Fine, have it your way. Okay, so. I, to, I, I don't remember if, if I talked to him or not. Oh, you're Blonsky. Hello, Kelly. I'm glad I caught you. Are you Moolah or something? Quit messing around. It's about our business. 
our business. The senator's missing item. It's some kind of bomb which we can use to blow him up. We? Meaning who? Me and my journalist friend. Ah, the journalist. Now you got my attention. Think with your head, not your dick, Jack. Find that missing item. I think I'll focus on the diamonds. This is bigger than some goddamn diamonds. Maybe for you and that journalist. We can all benefit from that. We'll see about that. Remember about us. Remember about your daughter. And what's that supposed to mean? Figure it out. I got a jet. Hey. We'll be in touch. Alright, so I'm going to go in here. Let the mafia off. Hey there. How's business? This isn't the best time. I was just shy. I know full well what's going on here. You should go now. We'll talk in private. Right. I'll come back later. See, Mafia plus ten. Police went down, but meh. <laughs> Mafia's more important to me. That's a rubbish tyre, so I'm going to ticket you. Maybe we can find a solution? We shouldn't... Vibe. Ah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't care about you. You're getting a ticket. So, let's talk to Mr. Donor. Did I, I can't remember if I talked to him last time. Alright, since we're on the same page, I need to see it. See what? You know what. What the fuck, officer? Whip it out, man. i got to make sure you're still up for it. With all these people around, and my work clothes on. If you don't want to spend the rest of your days... There's a big pink glazed anus. <laughs> and you better listen up. Fine, fine, but let's make it quick. God, help me. What? That bad? No, are you kidding? They should list it as an endangered species. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Still, get the job done? Well, not completely. Not even halfway? Not at all. Maybe if I hammered it with a chisel. No worries. We'll get you something from Crank. Alright. I'll see you at the donut after work. Past 2pm. Alright, cool. So we've got that sorted. Checking the tyres on this. Lovely looking tyre. Lovely looking tyre. Lovely looking tyre. Some lovely looking tyres you've got there, my friend. Or, or is it? Or is that very, very warm? Is that... Wait, is that bad? That looks... I th it looks like it's bad. So I'm going to write... I'm going to write a ticket for that one and, and just see what happens. Go ahead, 421. Ticket quota reached. Good work. We better not be getting any complaints. Okay, I think that was fine. So what else have I got to do? I'm going to let the Mafia do their thing. Oh yeah, what are my stats at the moment? See, Mafia's minus 70. Urgh. Police is plus 27, so I'm neutral. That's fine. I can let the Mafia do their stuff and let that go down a bit. Hello, gentlemen. Not a good time. Copper. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, the fact, blah, blah, blah. We've done all this. This is similar to one we've done before. Shit. Sorry for the misunderstanding. 421 is central. What's going on with those extortion reports? I didn't find anything. We expected more. The boss isn't going to like this. Okay, cool. That's all fine. So. Ooh, what do you, your mafia do? You want me to go do something about some guy's car, don't you? Officer, I've got a favour to ask. What's it about? Our lawyer. Right after we're done talking, he's going to walk out the pizzeria and visit a few places. He's got a briefcase with some important documents inside. I want you to tail him. And let us know where he drops it off. Yep, cool, fine. Alright, I can shadow him. Excellent. I'll see you when it's done. That's him, go ahead. Aha, this man. I'm pretty sure I did this last time, but... Nice casual walk. He's going to 6.05. Now, does he come out with the briefcase? That is going to be the question. Because I've got plenty of time. I'm, like, it's 12.45. Just going to chill out around here. And, you know, just sticking to my beat, making sure everything's all fine. 
He still had the briefcase. He's coming out with the briefcase. <laughs> Where's he going? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Time flies, I know. Because I think I missed this last time. Six fifteen. Is he going to dump it in an alley somewhere? Or did I find it at, like at the very end? Oh, a lot of standing around and waiting here. Oh. Okay, this man in the brown suit, not this man in the green suit, because I think he dumped it in an alley, and I found it. Or was that a different day? I don't know. I can't remember. I need to pay more attention. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone at the moment. Oh, she's probably looking for Dirk, isn't she? You meant to get some grub. You should come out any minute now. Okay, come on, man in the brown suit. Oh, you're going to waste a lot of my time today, aren't you? But I want to get in good with the mafia. Oh, shit, he's there. That's the man. He's going to the priest. He's going to come out. I need to pay attention. <laughs> I almost missed him coming out of the diner. He's still got the briefcase. Laundry? No. You can go get a donut. No. You're going to go into 361. No, it's 633. Nope. Pawn shop. Interesting. Is he going to come out without the suitcase? <gasps> he doesn't have it anymore. All right. Pawn shop. Here we go. Yo, yo, yo. How's it hanging, Kelly? Not bad. I'm supposed to tell you. You're all right. Hold on. Alright, well. I know where it is. So where have I got to go meet Dirk at the donut after 2pm? It's after 2pm. Oh, no, at the donut. What am I doing? Uh, no, I'm going to decline. No, thanks. I'm being a, I'm being a idiot. Into the donut place we go. Hello again, can I get you anything? Is Dirk done for today? You don't recognise me. Maybe because of the uniform. I figured he'd be in better shape. You changed. And the posters, you looked a bit more veiny. <laughs> Time flies. I put on some meat. Some? Got to be around 20 kg since last I hired since I hired you here. Dirk, we got a jet. Thanks for your help, Steph Stephanie. Where to, officer? Uh, the drugstore. Celebrities first. Oh, look at his belly jiggle. <laughs> so I'm going to meet him there in a minute. This is central. 421, get ready to visit 621. Apartment number 5. Remember the case of the late Sesame? This is Arabella's dog. There's been some talk. The incident came back to Mrs. Arabella. We're looking for a, a hymer from the Department of Geriatrics. Already enough. His visit coincides with yours. Oh, motherfucker. Visit Mrs. Arabella and take her statement. She recognises me. I'm a dead man. The chief wants that scum down at the precinct. C copy that. Um, no, I'm, I'm ignoring that. And... Oh, shit, what have I else got to do? I suppose I've got to tell them the Mafia. Dirk, i got a great idea. Yeah? Let's research... Let's rehearse the lines before the actual shooting. There's a script. Something like that. You play a cop... You get called to an old lady. A dog died. So much drama. Like a real movie. I'm in. Wait here. I'll go get your outfit. Oh, dry cleaners. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to bother talking to you. You are not important to me at the moment. Okay, dry cleaners. Hi, Benny. Just spare me the Chinese wisdom, alright? You wash uniforms for our precinct, right? Yes, yes. Many uniforms. I need one. Mine ripped in the crotch. But dry. Only bigger. Fine by me, Benny. Okay. I have my second police uniform. 
of uh, Mr. Mr. Pawn Man. Let's talk to him. I got you a uniform. Just try to squeeze in. Just don't rip it apart. All right, wait here. I'll get changed in the stairwell. I wonder how long this could take. <laughs> oh, he's like Fat Mike. Jeez, he's even fatter than I thought. And? How's the good old Dirk Wad? You get a hold of uh, a wide angle lens and we're good to go. Uniforms always make me look fatter. This is tight as an Asian condom. What does that mean? As it should be. You're a cop now. Somebody's going to be shooting this. No, just to talk with an old lady. Go to number five and I'll grab some meds for you. I'll see you back here in a minute. Meds? Get Dirk ED meds from the drugstore. Well, the drugstore's right here. So, crank. I need something for, um, how should I put this? What's the problem? You dock the ship in the wrong port? What? You pull out the anchor and the seawood? What the fuck, Mr. Crank? I mean, I need something for ignition. Ignition of what? Ah, why didn't you just say so? I only have Sildenfield. Sounds about right, I'll take it. First of all, it's only prescription only. Second of all, I saw the last of it. Are you saying you're out? Sildenfeld also happens with the Pumle Artism. I have always saved the last full packs for neighbor. The old lady from 605. Is this something urgent? I got a jet, Mr. Crank. Thanks for your help. I need to tell Dirk about this. Maybe he can get the pills from the old woman. Oh, man. Uh, 605, wasn't it? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Inform Dirk about the meds. Um... Uh, it was 605, wasn't it? Shit, I can't remember. This is not good. Oh, 605 is all the way down here. Let me talk to this guy, the Mafia guy at least. Get anything for me? Do you see where they'll load off the briefcase? Yeah, tell him. Yeah. Excellent. I'm all ears. Pawn shop. He left it at the pawn shop. I see. Thank you. This is for your trouble. Nice. Okay. Arabella. Shit. Where did she live? It was like, I swear she had like apartment four or somewhere. Who is it? Officer Kelly, just checking if everything's alright. With what? The buzzer? Oh, that's funny. Oh, and I've got like an hour left. This is... I thought... See, I thought she was in one of those apartments where I just was. I should have paid attention to where he went. I mean, it wasn't 621, was it? Habsburg? No. Alright, I'll wait this side. Oh, it was there. Oh, I got it. <sighs> Dirk, I was at a drugstore and it turns out the last... And what's got you so winded? Kelly, what the fuck was that? Why are you whispering? What happened? You planned it, didn't you? Dirk, you did something to Mrs. Arabella. I did something. It was pitch black in the stairwell, so I was trying to find the doorbell. Then the door swings open and this woman jumps out on me. What the? Before I even squeeze out a sound. She immerses my dick in a full on shamanic ritual. Jesus, are you sure it was Mrs. Arabella? No idea, it was dark. The last time anybody rode me like that it was back on the set of Coming to America, starring Arse Hall. See you guys back in action? Back in action? I ain't felt this good in 20 years. That means we're even with Froggy. Who? Never mind, go to the pawn store. I say Kelly sent you. You'll find out all the details on site. Good luck. Hope you ain't bluffing. Take care. Alright. Got that stuff sorted. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go talk to her now. Who's just stood outside the moonwalk. Officer. What is it? What can I do for you? Nice of you to ask. But it's you I'd like to help. 
Yeah, and how would you do that? I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Carla Hubbard from the New York paper. Officer Jack Kelly. So, you work at the New York paper? Yeah, that New York paper. You've opened our newspapers many times, I suppose. Sure I have. Just don't see what you're getting at. I didn't ask for your help. You might not, but your department needs it. And what's wrong with it? Oh, please. You can drop that act. You know exactly. A series of scandals, drug trafficking, gun running. I heard plenty about your colleagues and their ties. I'm pretty new here. I got nothing to do with it. Exactly. I need someone like you. Independent. No links. You got the wrong person. I'm going to go now. Please, wait. I'm doing research about police corruption. There's going to be a big article about this. You could do the right thing. Benefit the public. Uncover the illegal practices inside the police. Ooh. I... Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to accept. Actually, why not? I'll let you know if I hear anything. I knew you were a decent guy, Jack. I'll see you later. I can get the most intel in briefings. Okay, the journalist... Because it might lead to something about... Um, my my case like with the diamonds and the shootings and it could lead somewhere with that if i say no i, I don't know like what's what's the benefit of saying no over saying yes um so the journalist carla oh time's over time's head on um so the journalist uh carla hubbard from the new york paper is looking for information about police corruption okay so angie i'll have to meet tomorrow at least i've managed to get through the day without being killed <laughs> so that's a good start uh, I didn't get a hell of a lot done in terms of policing. My like police stats are down to 17. It'll probably go down. I'll probably lose some money. Because I didn't do all my police work. But I got $100, $100 from the Mafia. So that kind of balances it out a little bit. Yeah, see, minus 55 now. So that's going up. Did nothing with the crew, so that's fine. Met my ticket quota. I didn't intervene in the extortion. I need to have $600 for my alimony payment in three days. I got my paycheck, which is 50 bucks. And what didn't... Oh, I didn't lose money. Oh, that's cool. I was I was really expecting to have like my pay dock by about $25 because I didn't intervene. But I guess because it was an anonymous tip, there was nothing substantial behind it. So that's good at least. So I'm going to try and get back in with the Mafia. Um, I'm probably going to end up having everything kind of even out. Uh, I think with the uh, with the journalist wanting to know about police corruption, maybe I could get my policing a little bit higher. Because I've got a feeling that's going to go way down after I start telling the papers about what's happening. So, very interesting. Um cool so yeah anyway um i've been going for a little one hour uh, i'm only going to do one day today and maybe next time we'll do two days maybe get a little bit longer I'm still trying to work out how long i want these videos to last and um, if i should do like one day or two days um we'll see how things go but anyway thank you very much for watching don't forget to click that subscribe button down below i'll put all the links to the, in the description of where you can find this game yourself if you want to buy it and all the links to my social media will be down below too. So again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.